Natalie Bassingthwaite is a dynamo. The actress, singer and television host is currently working on Network 10's So You Think You Can Dance. Touring her debut album, she's completed her first feature film, co-authored a book and somehow manages to fit in a personal life. And since rumour has it her boyfriend's a drummer, you wonder why on earth she doesn't spend more time at home enjoying the delights of a paradiddle. Fresh from her Gold Logie nomination, we welcome Natalie Bassingthwaite. I got taught Good how morning. to do that the other day. I was saying to David, oh no, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> Paradiddle. It's just the, uh, yeah, the independent hands. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm not very don't good. You find, it's just don't a drumming you find, thing. Don't you find <laughs> drummers make the most perfect men? Yes. <laughs> How, often, <Correct. laughs> How often do you tell him to stop tapping? I haven't seen him for ages, actually. Oh. For the first time in ages, I got to come home to Melbourne and he's away. So he's, he's, he's going back tonight. He, he's, <laughs> well, he's on tour. Himself, well, he's he? doing lots of stuff. He's doing lots of charity things with uh, a white line, uh, an organisation he works for, and working with Mark Seymour and, um, I don't know, everyone, John Stevens, lots of people. Right. Now, how are you fitting it all in? Yeah. And, you know, do you know. think I've had two coffees today and I'm still asleep, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, I don't know. I do. I love what I do. I think that helps. And I have a really great team of people that just, you know, I feel like they're the ones that do all the work. They're the ones that have to schedule this crazy kind of thing. And I just have to turn up and... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're doing, uh, so you think you can dance. Yeah. And, and, and you're touring as well. How, yeah. How do you do that? I mean, how often are you playing? Well, I really wanted to do a big tour and go, you know, the entire country, but obviously I can't do that with the with dance and everything. So I'm just trying to do as many as I can, pretty much Saturday nights until, until dance finishes. So I've got a few shows left. I've got Crown. Uh, the Palms left, mm -hmm. and then Campbelltown and Reevesby. So big venues. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, but big, but still, you know, intimate enough to really, you know, because you can do the really big ones, and that you, you don't get as enough vibe off the audience. Yeah. I don't think so. No connection. We're really connected in the show, and it's all ages for the, you know. So I'm loving that as well. I'm loving So You Think You Can Dance. I think, <laughs> I mean, I loved last year's, and I think this year's competition is so great, and there have been lots of very teary moments. Yeah, yeah. You're crying. Oh, We're I have been sooks, too. aren't we? All so, of us. So you clearly get quite yeah. uh, emotionally involved in the, in the program. I think because all of us, you know, the judges and myself, we've all been in this industry for a long time, and we've all you know, auditioned a million times and been told no and mm. then yes and then you're not good enough or you're not tall enough or whatever and you know exactly what they're going through. So, mm. yeah, we're, we're all in it together. Or you lose your voice or you hurt your back or you... Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, it was not funny that Penny broke her rib, but I did the same thing when I was doing Chicago with Jason. It was... Um, I was rehearsing and then a week before the opening night, I went, oh, you know, I think Simon Burke did this lift with me and then I did the opening night and I thought, this is just getting worse and I'd done the same thing, six weeks off opening night. Mm. So I was like, oh, I know exactly how you're feeling there. Mm. It's terrible. And, and how much are you allowed to kind of convey that sort of stuff? Because I, I imagine in your role, you kind of walk a pretty fine tightrope, you know, you have to yeah. be really supportive of all of the people in it yeah. as opposed to kind of going, you're my favourite, you're ace. Yeah, I can't do that. And, yeah. and I, and I sort of don't feel that either. Like, I feel like from the very beginning, you know, we, we all bond in our own way. And, and of course, you, you know, we're human. So you are drawn to certain people in different ways, but they've, they've all, they're all really special and they all have their own thing. So yeah. when I do say, you know, goodbye at the end of a show, I, I don't plan what I'm going to say. I just, whoever it is, it's just, yeah. Oh, and this genuine. was very, this is the most recent teary session, of course. Look, Look it's a lot of it. Everyone, all in tears. <laughs> and then last night, you have, of course, Gianni coming back. And she is such a joy to be around her. Her energy is amazing. And I really felt that she'd lost that in the last week because of one, being so exhausted, and yeah. two, just, you know, having to go and then coming back again. And that's, mm. you know, we, everyone just loves each other. <laughs> it's such a great place to work. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's yeah. great. Yeah. So what, what happens there? Oh, well, you, you, congratulations on the, the Logie. Yes, What's thanks. new? Two Logie nominations. Yeah, Gold and Logie. the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what, I mean, you sort of worry for you. I mean, you? When, when, when are you oh, going to get it? David does, because he's a pessimist. <laughs> what are you worried about? Not worry about? No, 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 I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about your workload. I mean, when uh, do you stop? Yeah. Because they're, they're, now there'll be a lead up to the, the Logies. Yeah. When do you stop and what do you do when you stop? All you have to do is find a dress. It's not that hard. You just rock off. Are you Sorry, struggling you know, to find the, You know, the, the, I know. the commotion associated. Yeah. I know. Um, I... I actually feel better this year than I have for a long time because I used to take on board ten things at once and 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 well, and now you not, take on nine and now I, now I could do three. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean I was you know asked a cup last year if I wanted to do a show this year and then another thing and 
and I could really normally I would be like yep yep and I would probably be doing another two things but I just went no I really want to do dance, the album's coming out, and I want to embrace both of those things yeah. and, and smell the roses and go, yay, life Look, is good. <laughs> one of the things I've loved recently, we've, we've seen lots of interviews with you, and, and, um, and I love the fact that you're really focused on maintaining a relationship and, and looking forward to the day of having babies because I think, you know, I think that's an inspiration for a lot of... <laughs> but I, I know that's sure when I'm going to get that in. <laughs> yeah. Yes, when are you going to sort that out? I don't know. No but... announcement to make for us? No. Oh, great. <laughs> what, about, uh, what about touring overseas with, with the... With the record. Yeah, yeah, see, this is, I mean, I think that I feel like there's something that's going to happen, but I feel like I need a break to decide what that is. Am I going to, you know, keep, Where do you go? keep do you... the music going? Am I going to do it in the UK or Europe or America? Or am I going to follow? I feel like I, my heart is in, I want to go back to acting, and I feel like I want to kind of follow that too. So I just... I think until I have a break, which is in four weeks or three weeks, yeah. then I'll then I'll go right where am I going? What yeah. am I going to do? But life has a funny way of working itself out, and you've certainly yeah. taken advantage of being in the right place at the right time, which is really such a big thing in this industry, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Can't stop. There's me. <laughs> <laughs> My nephew's in this film clip. Oh, which one? He's the little blonde-haired boy at the end, and he was. My sister talked him into doing it because she really wanted him to do it. He's like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Never acted before in his life. And then he goes, so did you, did you have a good day? And he goes, nah. <laughs> didn't even enjoy the I'm great catering. little bugger. <laughs> nah, didn't like it. Natalie, it's great to see you. Congratulations. Uh, good luck with the Thank ladies. You. Who yeah. are you Very tipping? I, do you know what? I really want Ian to win. I really would love. I would love Ian yeah. Smith to win. Yeah, Harold, because yeah. he's just, you know, he's been in this a long time and he deserves it. Yeah. But yeah. I think Rebecca Givney will probably take it out. Oh. She's been in a long time as well. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, yeah. it's going to be interesting to see. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck.